Welcome back to Folding Freedom. Um, today, uh, there's a video that we put together on an award-winning product called an eFoldy folding scooter. So, enjoy. Okay, the eFoldy, the eFoldy scooter. Um, fantastic bit of kit, really, really nice. We love it. The people that currently use it love it. So, let me just go through and explain the pros and cons of the eFoldy so that you can decide whether you think it's, it's the right scooter for you because it's it's used for specific purposes. So, um, let me, so firstly, let me start with it in its completely folded position. So, one of the main advantages of the eFoldy is its weight. It's It comes in with its battery and everything, which is in its current um, condition, at about 18 kilos, just under 18 kilos, which is extremely light. It's, it's the lightest in its in its sec in the sector, but it is still 18 kilos. So maybe if you think of, um, you know, if you're flying on EasyJet or whatever, or flying per se, your suitcase allowance is normally about 22 kilos. So it's just a bit lighter than a holiday suitcase. So if you think of that and whether or not you can lift it, if you're going to try and lift it on your own, or if you've got a partner, or, or however you're going to use the eFoldy, although it's the lightest of its type, still be realistic about. 18 kilos is 18 kilos, but it's made from high quality alloy. It's, it's very cutting edge, which is why they've managed to get the, the weight down so much. It's won design awards. It won British Invention of the Year. It won Richard Branson's VOOM Award, where Richard Branson himself judged it. it. It really has been received very, very well. It's a very good bit of kit. So let me go through it. So in its, in its folded form, it's as you see it there. So it's nice and small. It's quite clever actually. It's got big wheels and that's great for ground clearance and the lights, which I'll go into later. But it's also, if I just swing it down and show you, it's got a couple of casters, which look a bit sort of weird and out of place in a way when you just see them. You think, what on earth are they for? But what it is, is when it's in its folded form, it's very, very easy to move it about inside a restricted space. So if you want to sort of slide it under, under a table or between cupboards or something like that, or you're out and about and you want to slide it onto a bus, or between, behind the seats in a train, it's a very clever idea because it stops you having to lift the whole thing up and move it. And you can simply tilt it backwards and it's on its little wheels. Very clever little thought. So, where should we start? Let's unfold it and then you can see how, uh, what, what it's all about. So, uh, you, you don't need to see specifically how we unfold it, but I'll just show you, it's very simple. Um, the number of move m maneuvers, as it were, you have to do is very simple. You pop the, the handle up, you take the handlebars out and pop them over the top in a single move. The front wheel here, you simply click out and then attach to the handlebars. And once you've done that and you put it down, bingo, you've got your e-folding, which is completely different to anything else on the market. There are some very good folding scooters on the market, but there's always a compromise. They're either very significantly heavier than an e-foldy, but are in one piece complete, or the component parts are about the same weight as an e-foldy, but you've got two or three of them that you have to take apart, put in the boot of your car, keep putting together and taking apart, etc. The joy of the e-foldy is that it comes in at that weight of 18 kilos, but is in one piece. It's so simple. So it's a lovely bit of kit. Um, what else to say about it? Um, the battery, which is housed behind the, uh, the seat cover here, if I just put the, sorry, the, re the seat rest there, if I show you there, it's a lithium, lithium ion battery, very, very high quality. The, the, the insides of it, I think are the same ones they use in Tesla cars. It comes from the same sort of heritage, so they are absolutely top of the range. And you get an extremely good um, range from an eFoldy. Uh, you get about 14 miles which is market leading range for a single battery, single piece a bit, um, scooter. It's extremely light. You can take the, the battery out, take it into your hotel room, um, take it into your flat, whatever you want to do. If you want to charge it out of the uh, scooter, you can leave it in the scooter, it's not a problem. You just plug the charger in, which comes complete with the, with the scooter when you purchase one. But it's a really nice thing that you can just take it out and it's so light not like the old traditional lead acid batteries in mobility scooters. This is the same sort of logic as a mobile phone battery, same sort of technology. So it's absolutely two finger light and you can just carry it into your flats. Fantastic. It's got a little 
um, as I fold the, the back up, it's got a little, um, what do you call it, kind of bag um, scenario at the back here. So it's quite handy for popping your handbag or a bit of shopping or your laptop, etc. into. And in fact, talking of laptops, it's quite clever. They've even thought on the back of the battery to have down here a little USB port. So you can actually, this the battery, although it charges the Foldy, actually um, has a secondary use as a power pack. And you can charge your phones or your laptops or whatever as you go along. Um, okay, so what else do we like about the Foldy? The controls, lovely, lovely and simple. Um, if I get the keys, which are left over here, it's a really simple bit of kit to use. You've simply got an ignition, initial uh, ignition key, rather, which is really nice because one of the things with a lot of the um, mobility scooters on the market is they don't have an ignition key, which to me is a little bit odd from a security point of view because if you park the Foldy up somewhere or you park your mobility scooter up, maybe outside a shop or something like that, um, and it's got no ignition key, then anyone can just hop on it and drive away which I'm not sure whether it happens very often, but it just seems a little bit odd to me. So I think it's really nice that they've gone to the expense of putting an ignition key on it. So you simply turn the ignition key on and it has a voltmeter to show the condition of your battery. It has a gear selector, so you can have the four miles an hour, the reverse or the eight miles an hour. Speed is controlled by twisting the twist grip in exactly the same way as if you're on a little motorcycle. Very, very simple. It's got LED lights front and back. It's got indicators front and back. It's got a pedestrian horn. Um, it's, it's a very well thought out bit of kit and it's road legal. So with the indicators and the brake lights and the lights all round, you can actually ride this on the road. Um, and it's a full eight miles an hour um, scooter as well. So most people, most of the time, will use it in four mile an hour mode just for pavement use and in shopping centres or around stately homes or whatever it is that you're doing. But if you're going a longer distance and you've got a nice smooth pavement or, or pathway, you can pop it into eight miles an hour and shoot along um, you know, your heart's content. It's, it's a very good bit of kit. That's another point perhaps about the, the Foldy. If I look at it from your position where you're watching the video, you can see the ground clearance. Now the ground clearance is out, absolutely outstanding. I've ridden these e Foldies on grass, on gravel pathways, on forest um, paths, over roots of trees. Um, it, it's, it's a completely different concept to a normal mobility scooter where they're very generally very low to the ground with much smaller wheels and very low ground clearance, which in certain circumstances is what obviously customers want. But the idea of an e-foldy is that it's, it's a go anywhere scooter. The motor, which is integral in the front wheel, is a very powerful electric motor and can really pull you up very good gradients. I've been up very steep ramps in um, train stations, etc., and it has absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. It's a very powerful bit of kit. Um, and it is, it's much more, although it is um, uh, marketed, as it were, as a mobility scooter, which it obviously is, it is sort of on the cusp of a personal transporter and a mobility scooter because a lot of the people that we find end up using an e-foldy are people that are perhaps they wouldn't really need or they would either need or want a traditional mobility scooter what they need is a kind of range extender a lot of them are, are much younger than perhaps a traditional mobility scooter user and they might have um, you know something um, maybe you know arthritis or COPD or something that prevents them walking a significant dis distance. And what this does is it enables them, without having to go around the mobility scooter, to extend their range significantly. And I think it's fantastic. The weight, of course, allows you to pop it in and out of the car, which is or a taxi or the bus or the train. I have been up to London quite often um, with an e-foldy. I can ride it to my local train station, I can pop it on a train, I can get off at London, get on and off the tube, up the escalators, absolute doddle. Um, and it's, it's, it's fantastic like that. So from a lifting point of view, if I just put the key out of the way, just to give you an example, if we just fold it up, and again, it's extremely easy to fold, which if you were, if anyone was to buy an e-foldy, there are lots of videos, we do a lot of videos, instructional videos on, just to remind people how to fold and unfold it, 
um, maintenance, that sort of stuff. So you don't have to worry about what I'm showing you now particularly. I'm just showing you the kind of concept of the E4B. <clears throat> so if you were wheeling it around, it's basically like having a kind of shopping trolley. And because of the, the large rear wheels, if you're bumping it up and down curbs or up your front doorstep, it's really easy to do. Whereas when you get the uh, mobility scooters with the kind of small wheels, um, they haven't got enough ground clearance. So you're kind of having to drag the frame up and down things like curbs and front doors. Whereas these nice big wheels here, I mean, they're, they're as big or bigger than on most push chairs. And you can pop those up and down into those um, situations really easily. It's a very, very well designed bit of kit. So you can wheel it about. You can actually, strangely, rather clever, you can actually just use it as a seat, which is kind of like an added bonus, which I think is rather cool. But anyway, that's a, another thing. But if you are taking it to your car and dropping it into your car, um, because it's so well made with strong alloy, you can actually lift it just from the bars. So um, it's, it's really, a, I mean, it's, it's again, as I say, it's 18 kilos, so it's not feather light, but it is the lightest on the market. So if you want a lightweight scooter, in one piece, I think it's very, very difficult to beat, honestly, um, as someone that sees a lot of mobility scooters, it's a good bit of kit. And you can lift that, pop it in your car, and you get to the other end, and you can take it out. And if you're not able to do that, or maybe you haven't even got a car, there's no problem with a cab driver when he turns up and you can say, exactly, in exactly the same way as you pop your holiday case in the boot, if you're going to the shops, they can pop it in the boot of their cab for you and pop it out the other end. So it really does give people the opportunity to get out and about when maybe that's getting a little bit restricted. Um, what else is there that I like about the E4B? Um, comfort. Comfort's pretty good. Um, it's not the same level of comfort as a really big, you know, substantial outdoor mobility scooter. Um, you know, with the cover and the great big padded cushions and that sort of stuff. But of course, that's not what it's made for. It's made to be light, manoeuvrable, something you can pop in your car, take, you know, on your holidays, that sort of stuff. But they have thought it through. So you can see the little yellow springs under here. So the seat is all sprung. So not only has it got padding on the top, it's got the springs there for a bit of added suspension. Obviously being pneumatic tyres, that helps as well because the pneumatic tyres, um, you know, give, have a little bit of give. So it, it's quite nice. Um, the, the back curves to your back. Um, and it's, there's a good space here because a lot of people uh, that we found tend to use little backpacks when they're going out and about if they're on a mobility scooter and because this is quite a big generous area you can actually still wear a backpack a small backpack when you're sitting on the seat um, you can obviously pop it in the back here or put it over the bars but you can keep it on your back if you want to which can in some circumstances give you a little bit of extra padding as well um, but it's, it's it's very nice very very comfortable um, have i covered everything uh, they're, they're fine for planes, by the way. So uh, the range of, the, sorry, the standard battery, which is the, the one it comes with, which is the long range battery, is perfectly okay on planes. Um, the vast majority of airlines are fine with having um, that battery on board. Um, if you have any mobility issues at all, then you are entitled to take the full long distance battery onto a plane. If you have absolutely no mobility issues at all and you're just using it as a, you know, a transporter for yourself, some, some airlines will say that you can only take what's called an air safe battery on, which you can, you can also buy from, from e um, So you can have one battery or the other or both if you prefer. So it's very, very good for air travel. Um, it's great on cruises because you can go in a standard cabin instead of having to have a mobility cabin. So the availability and the cost is reduced significantly for cruises. Um, it's great for coach travel, for just personal trips out, for going out with the family, keeping up with the kids and the grandkids. Um, we found that people use this in a way that is genuinely life enhancing rather than just as a tool. It enables to go out and do the hobbies and sports and stuff that they, they used to do and perhaps are getting it, you know, finding it a little bit difficult now. So I, th I, I really like this. The, the, the boys and girls in the office who interact with the people that, that buy them, um, if it's the right product for the person that buys an eFoldy, it makes a lot of difference to their lives. Um, so I think we've probably covered it all. All in all, I think it's a really good bit of kit.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that Folding Freedom video. Uh, there's plenty more videos uh, to help you out on YouTube, so um, great idea to subscribe to the channel and go and have a look at all the other videos, particularly to do with the foldies. Um, and you can also follow us on Facebook. Just go on to Facebook and uh, check out the Folding Freedom um, channel.